Ouch! Man, man, lucky Lance for more. <clears throat> Abzan action. That's right. I hope you guys are excited for it. The white side of mid range. Uh, I don't know if this is allowed anymore, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, like, but like uh, I said, uh, my name's uh, Lance. But more importantly, my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That's my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, MTGA, and Twitter. So if you're watching on Twitch, please start following. If you're watching on YouTube, please start subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. And you can always join me on that little flock of birdies. Twitter, that's right. Follow Major Riot on Twitch and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to Major Riot on YouTube for the low, low cost of free. That's right. It costs you absolutely nothing. And you could really use the help right now, considering how high the gas prices are. I've got a little Toyota Celica. It only got a 14-gallon tank. Granted, I live in one of the more affluent states, as they like to put it in a, in a positive spin on it. just means our taxes are higher. Um, uh, it cost me about $65 to fill a little 14-gallon tank. That's terrible. But anyways, um, yeah, don't delay. Do it now. Subscribe and follow for free for a guaranteed outburst of rage and witty little random tangents like that. Uh, you won't regret it. And also, I have this disclaimer. Uh, I am not responsible for a sudden increase in top decking only lands, getting wrecked by Ragavan, and never finding your sideboard cards. That's completely nothing to do with me. If that starts happening to you, it happens. Uh... Okay, so we got Alpha Gemstone Dragon here. Go Rhino, I choose you. Oh, I know that reference, a reference to Pokemon anime. Ass Ketchum. Right? It was Ash Ketchum, not Ass. Uh, Sub Snake Eyes, yeah, been a while since I've seen you, JP. Uh, uh, yeah, no, it's fine, man. I understand. I go to bed early, too. It, it, it sucks we're in a completely different time zones, literally on different continents from across the planet almost. Uh, but right now, I think that me and you are a little closer to time, the same time or something, because we just did daylight savings time here in the U.S. Uh, yesterday, and I think you guys are a couple more weeks. We used to do the same time, but like 20 years ago, they changed it in the United States. Um, so, yeah, as you guys can tell, I do enjoy playing Magic. When I play Magic, I prefer to play Modern. When I play Modern, I play one of four decks somewhat coherently. Those four decks are... Uh, <laughs> are... Uh, <laughs> Jund. Grixis, Gruel Ponds, and when you see your screen now, good old Abzan. Yes, I do enjoy dabbling in the white mana, even though white has been historically my least favorite mana. I don't know, blue is right up there too, just because I get killed by so many counter cards. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to cast some Siege Rhinos today, hoping to get Hex Drinker up to eight levels. You know, that's always fun whenever that happens. And maybe flash in some Calder Completes. Did I see DSP's rant on Daylight Savings? It's the same rant he's had every year for like over 10 years. It's an amazing uneducated rant it's got to be one of his best ones he's also the only person on the planet i'm aware of who dreads the coming of daylight savings time for over a week before it happens and then continues to feel the negative effects of it for like at least a week afterwards i mean this man almost gets killed by daylight savings time every year it's amazing he's made it this long almost 40 years of daylight savings time it's, it's pretty in impressive yeah i don't know what a leader first off everything jp you just said is like foreign language to me we got l shaped 1.86 per liter like what the hell is a liter and what's this pound thing i don't know how much that is but it doesn't sound good liters a lot less than a gallon so that can't be good now it's not euro it's british pounds um he doesn't even go outside no he doesn't we're not talking about you but yeah phil doesn't go outside so anyways uh we are still three dollars a liter a gallon, you mean? Oh, oh, a liter? Oh, damn, that's a lot more. A liter? How many liters are in in a gallon? That's a lot. A gallon's way bigger than a liter. Um, so we are still at 17 followers on Twitter. We did go up to, I want to say, well, 200. What? I got to check again. I, I just, because something's not adding up. Yeah. I, we're at 226 followers, so thank you guys very much there. I don't know how that happened, considering it doesn't show that I have any more than one, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I got more than that. Uh, we're still at 336, 363 subscribers. Um, one and one-third of a liter equals a gallon. Maybe. I got to do this now. Liters to gallon. Liters to gallons. No, one liter is equal to about a quarter gallon. So to make, so 
yeah, one gallon, let's get this changed, one gallon, yeah, one gallon is three and three quarters a liter. So it takes, you can fit three, almost four liters into a gallon. That is horrible, that's even worse than the United States. Yeah, they, they, we just figured out three and three quarter liters in a gallon. My God. Holy crap. That's so much money. We got it good in America. Never mind. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we are. Uh, so, shout out to all 17 followers on Twitter. Shout out to all 226 followers on Twitch. Shout out to all 363 subscribers on YouTube. And, of course, a massive shout out to all two of my Twitch subscribers. I really appreciate that guy. It's going way above me on the call of duty. That's staying true to the blue. A little salute there. Uh, you guys don't have to do that. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it means so much. Uh, just any of you watching, you know, you guys watching it, I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, we got to do the weather thing of a newer butt. Weather for Ravenhill conditions are rain with a temperature of 47 degrees. The wind is blowing from the north at 2 miles per hour, and the current humidity is 91%. Yeah, it's a wet day. It's just going to dump rain, they said, for the next week or so. And more flooding action for the people down in the valleys. For me, I don't care. Like, but for rain, it's going downhill. It's coming out of the mountains to you. Um, but whatever. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we're going to play some Abzan today. I gotta give you guys a little bit of updates. This is gonna be the major riots uh, behind the scenes update. Um, I finally got all my plumbing issues and sewer issues and septic tank issues done. So I had the septic tank pumped. I flushed the toilet multiple times. I got to see my in tank um, into the septic where I, what comes in out of the toilet and everything into the septic tank. Not a drop came through. So then I realized, yeah. <laughs> That that's then we I realized that there wasn't a single drop of water. Thank you kindly, Snake Eyes slash JP for the subscription. I really appreciate that, man. That's awesome. Thank you so much for nine months. Thank you so very very much. Yeah, I need to get my sound box. I gotta find one of those. Um, even though I can technically have one here on my stream decker, but I'm too busy to try and figure out how to get this all to work. Um. But anyway, so there was a massive clog in my sewer pipe in the crawl space. I had to get that block unblocked, which is a massive, massive clog. I was like, how did this clog? It's a four-inch pipe, you know. How did it get clogged so bad? Well, I got that clog undone, and then I noticed the pipe was moving. That's right. The whole pipe, that section of the pipe had to be replaced because it had broken. And when the water rushed through it, it vibrated. And when it vibrated, the toilet paper would get through the cracks and get caught. And then the... Uh, Toilet paper keep coming down the line. We get caught on that toilet paper. Eventually, it formed a massive, nasty, heinous ball that not even water you get through. So that's why I was pumping out of my overfill, even though it wasn't full. Um, but yeah, I had to lay down some shit and piss. But that's okay. What else is new? Uh, to get that pipe fixed, but it got done. So there we go. Uh, what else do I got? Uh, Fridays. Fridays. Um... Oh, nice. Four and two this weekend. So, getting into that, JP. I'm happy to hear about that. Fridays, guys, as you may know, I've been not streaming on Fridays because I go to locals. Um, I won't be here Wednesday, by the way. I have too much work on Wednesday. Wednesday seems to be a rough day for me to try and stream anymore. Uh, but Friday, I haven't been streaming since, like, July, I don't think, most of the time on Fridays. Because I go to my locals. Well, that's coming to an end. My locals has not fired a tournament in over a month. So, I'm just driving down there every Friday night. It's a long drive for me. I uh, mess up my schedule. I get tired because of it and everything. And they're like, no one showed up to play, dude. Sorry. I just have to leave immediately. And so it sucks. So it's been it's been a month. I'm going to give it a month before I go back in there. I am going to the four, uh, 1K in, a couple, in about three weeks. So I will be doing that in paper. That's on a Saturday anyways. And uh, But yeah, it looks like Paper Magic has completely died in my area. Like literally that was the last place that made sense for me to go to. Um, you know, I don't want to play a casual game. I want to play for prizes, damn it. I want to play to say who's best. Um, but I don't know why it doesn't fire anymore. It used to, at one point we were getting 30 players, but now nobody wants to play anymore. None of the shops around here are firing at all anymore. Um, for any format. For any, f and remember folks, I live in Wizards of the Coast backyard. Wizards of the Coast headquarters is in the same city I work in. So, damn. And, uh, well, yeah, if it's for a big tournament, yeah, I'd, I'd drive a few hours, too. I, I've done that many times. I flew all the way to Vegas just recently to play in that GP or 
Channel Fireball Vegas. Met my friend Reed Duke right here. Here's a picture of me meeting Reed Duke in uh, Las Vegas. That's a nice picture there. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I do have a 1K I'm going to in April that's at my locals, but hopefully that fires, for God's sake. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's whatever. So uh, you'll be seeing me on Fridays now streaming for the next month. And uh, Tom Brady, Tom Brady coming back, right, manure butt? Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, Tom Brady. I can't believe he's coming back. All right, guys, let me get in here. Let me get into a match here because people don't give a damn about my banter. They want to see me fail badly with Abzan here. They want to. They want to see me potentially try to cast a siege rhyme and just have it uh, counterspelled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you're a Bucks fan, so it's great news for you. Next month is a win, a few cases. Wow, a few cases. Wow, that's a good prize. Uh, I've met local celebrities, you know, like Seahawks and Mariners and when they used to have the Sonics, you know, I, I met some of the players. Um, but, you know, I've never met anyone super famous. I, I think Reed Duke's probably the most famous person I've ever met that actually showed me a damn and talked to me a little bit. I remember him talking to me. I said, yeah, I'm Major Wright. He said, oh, yeah, Major Wright. Uh, yeah, I've watched a few of your videos. And I was like, oh, shit. He probably thinks I'm like one of the worst players that actually puts his crap up on the internet, you know. But he was real nice and chill. And I, I think he enjoyed talking to me a little bit more than other people because I, I didn't, uh, I didn't um, you know, bug him with making him sign cards and stuff. I just want to get a picture with him real quick. Uh Am I running the same Ponza list? Pretty much. I, I think I took out the Bone Crusher. Yeah, I took out the Bone Crusher Giants because I wanted to put in an extra Renin Six and a Questing Beast. And um, I'm thinking about taking out that Questing Beast for a second Chandra. So I'll run two Ren, two Chandra. The sideboard's always changing. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I like the way the sideboard was. I went to a mostly green sideboard um, to try and help with the Force of Vigors. But I don't know if I like that. But the main deck. I, I can't imagine ever changing the main deck. It just works so good for me. Personally. I mean, some people look at it and they're like, how can you still play with this? Uh, oh, I did have to do this before we... I, I, I gotta do this real quick. Shoutouts to Wes Ordo uh, for the follow. I really appreciate that, man. If you're watching me live, let me know where you're from, what your favorite modern deck is. Okay. That's right. Massive ups. All right, guys, I got a special beverage for y'all. I think you're all going to really enjoy it. It's going to be real special for me. I hope you guys are excited for it. That's right, folks. We got a Monster Energy Peachy Keen. Look at that, Peachy Keen. Uh, let me read it to you here. It says, The summer of love was about hope, peace, and connecting to something bigger than yourself. A time of carefree, fun, limitless possibilities, and believing anyone but the man. So don't take our word for it. Check it out for yourself because it's all good when you're sipping ultra peachy keen, zero sugar, juicy flavor, and the monster energy blend from our secret stash. Everyone from boomers to zoomers is down with that. Unleash the ultra beast. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's got some hippie gal on the side, like one of those, you know, hippies that, you know, those hippie gals from like the 60s now, they're like all in their 70s and 80s now. They got the long, like, waist length gray hair and they're like earth mothers now it's like weird looking all right here we go Ow! there we go that's the official start that is peachy that's sig significant peach all right ass that's a mulligan all right all right jpa i'll definitely take a look at it mole here keep here that's some good shit there um batter skull and bottom It's not bad. I mean, it tastes good. Make sure you don't play the Castle Lockwing first. That'd be hella stupid. Um, I love any start to any Magic game in the history of Man... Oh, my God. It's against Jund. Why do they have two Ren and Sixes? What the hell? Oh, this is terrible. My hand is not suited for what's about to happen to me. Because if I take the Thought Seeds to protect the Goyf, and then I play the Goyf, and I don't have a fetch land. Well, they have a fetch land, so they'll have to fetch. And then the Bolt... No. Okay, let, let's plan this out. Play Goyf, it's a 1-2. Two. 
they don't fetch, they bolt Goyf, it still dies. I, I'm just going to take the Thought Seize. I don't think there's a point in taking an extra Ren. Just, what is the point of that? Midrange Mirror, yeah, I'm telling you, this Jun deck, this Boomer Jun has just made an, an immense reappearance. Uh, people are really into it again. The, you know, people are like, you know what, Lily on the Veil isn't bad. I'm like, no, it's never been bad. I just don't know. I mean, the guys on the Grixis Shadow Discord, they're like absolutely insane. They're like, any card that's worth more than three mana that's a permanent, it's a waste. It's like, no, it's not. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Oh my god. Of course. Now, now I need a top deck Siege Rhino, right guys? Where's Siege Rhino when you need him? I guess I should have held that Goyf. I do have Castle Lockwing to try and get out of some of this. Sure, you take a take a fatal push. <laughs> Sup, Bert? How you doing, man? Battle Cattle? Fuck, he top decked that too? God. Why can't I top deck like this? Okay, I guess I can. Oh, that's right, I don't have a swamp. I forgot I didn't have a swamp still. Oh, it's good to get it in there. Good, how have I been? I've been good. You know, I, I finally got all the plumbing and sewage problems fixed. I don't know what's happening here. Oh, I see. He's got to minus the Renin 6. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I would assume that's what's going to happen. Yep. Lord. This ain't right. You can draw a card off that castle, take two. Push, Hex Drinker. All right, well, maybe Hex Drinker can do something here. Oh, my God. Come on. Wow. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, I mean, I'm just dead. I've got absolutely just destroyed here. Just not even close. There was none I could even do... I guess I need to wait until end of turn to... Oh, yeah, I'll take Godless Shrine. So, nothing I can do here. Kaya, I mean... I can play Kaya, I can make it Exile. I'm the only one with creatures, right? Yeah, I can Exile my... No, I got two creatures. Fuck. He's the only one with an instant. It's got to be from the same graveyard. So I can make an instant out. An instant and this bloodstained mire, I guess. It's still state of four. I have an instant. Oh, yeah, I have fatal push. It doesn't matter. I had to lost this game a long time ago. It was good to get the Bloodstained Mire out, at least. Uh, I'm working on it right now. This is the first, uh, first match. So far, not good. Interesting, keeping that Ren and Six in hand. Not really sure why. I, I can't win this game. I'm just trying to see if maybe I can slowly try to come back, which I can't. I actually can't come back at all because of the Liliana's on the field. And, uh, yeah, that should just about do it. I can draw a card here. Yeah, 
Yeah, that don't work because the Liliana's on the field. I'm just going to concede. I mean, there's just no point in playing. Absolutely destroyed. Just absolutely ravaged. Just literally spread the cheeks. Uh, endurance should be good here. I like Vindicate to take care of Liliana. This is where I really struggle trying to... I, I mean, I like taking out... You know, the... The, um... Discard spells. Those are terrible top deck. Yeah, Hex Drink are not very good. But... They don't find Hex Drinker. I can do Collector Brutality as well. Because I'm not a fan of having these in this matchup. All right, we'll try it. Multiple goys. Overgrown Tomb versus Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, I'll play Concealed Courtyard. Go for the Calder Complete. I'm sure they have a way to deal with Stoneforge, but we still take the best card. Yep, terminate, okay. Uh, well, it looks like we're gonna have Siege Rhino come out eventually, I'm hoping. Goyf number one. So they're kind of on their ass here trying to get enough removal because I've got a lot of threats in hand. So they're gonna be constantly trying to kill these threats. Looks like the guy also cited, in my opinion, correctly. He has not played a, uh, of course, this Liliana is gonna be brutal. I mean, that's one card I really struggle. Oh, I guess there's no Liliana? What is this? But Liliana will be the card where I'm like, oh, damn. How the hell do I beat this shit? Uh, yeah, Temple Garden's fine here. More lands. Swinging is a mighty 3-4. I do need to draw some Lingering Souls. I have three copies in this version. You try any new Mountain Dews recently? I tried that Spark. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Um, was there another Mountain Dew that came out? No, I think that's the newest one. But, but uh, yeah, I, I had Spark, and it was pretty decent. Uh, all right, here we go, guys. Everyone, this is everyone's favorite part of the Abzan. It's where you unload a Siege Rhino on somebody. Oh yeah, the Lightning Helix on the 4-5 Trampling Body. That's what it's all about. How can you have six cards in hand and have nothing to do? Is this all Blood Braids? <laughs> what is going on? I've, I'm confused. You think he runs Damnation? Oh, I'm starting to get a little concerned here. Got to push and terminate and stuff. What is going on? I'm starting to really wonder. Play another Goyf? I mean, just 
keep the pressure on. I mean, he's got damnation. I mean, I can still play Calder Complete next turn. I'll have seven mana. Like, I didn't think it was the worst flavor ever, Bert, but it wasn't great. Ah, Bloodbraid Elf. Okay. Dark Confidant. Okay, there we go. Now that's beating someone down. Goif, Goif, Siege, or Siege Rhino. I mean, God, that is good. That is classic Abzan action there. Um, yeah, I think we just do the same. I don't really think there's a... Siege Rhino is like just one of those magical cards. When it comes down, it, even if it's against you, you, you got to smile a little bit. Just got to. I don't think this hand's half bad. It's a good mixture of threats, spells. I'm going to keep it. You know, depends what they play on turn one. I, I'm not sure if I want to throw Hex Drinker out on turn one. Maybe I do. Well, they did keep their discard spells in. Probably take Push. Take Hex Drinker, wow. Never mind. Maybe they just saw maybe they play maybe this whole hand is just filled with uh, thought seizes and stuff. They play the Tarmogoyf into the fatal push. Let's have a backup Goyf, Collector Brutality. They have a backup Goyf, this just makes it even worse. Um, okay, let's see here. Yeah, probably the massive amount of creatures in their hand. I can escalate this brutality, look at their hand, and drain for two, so it makes this godless shrine free. I think that's a fine play. Discard that blooming marsh. Oh no, they do have a call against command and a clothis. Oh god, this is gonna be one. This is gonna be a really intense race between clothis and Kaya. All right, so that's what they were planning, folks. They were planning on using Colligan's Command to pick up the Goyf and make me discard a card. But that's not happening today, buddy. No, sir. But now i got to worry about this Clothis. Which, like I said, it's going to be an intense battle here. I'm probably going to lose just straight up to this thing. Especially when I'm drawing like that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to take Tarmogoyf. And Colligan's command. Uh, I guess Temple Garden's fine. Tarmogoyf. Colligan's command. Whoever put a creature first on the field is going to win this. He wants to eat the Hex Drinker. That way I can't gain life. I would assume so. This artwork of Clothus has slowly grown on me. I still always prefer original artwork of cards, but this one's not as bad as I remember it being. It's actually okay. Me and my buddies, we opened up a couple boxes of Theros Beyond Death, and we did pull some Clothis. Uh, it was pretty sick. So the main problem here is Kaya can maybe negate some of the life loss I get, but it can't negate his life gain. Yeah, he takes the Hex Drinker. So again, whoever gets this threat. So he, we know he doesn't have a threat here. He top decked another land. I continue to top deck lands. I do have the draw card here. Um, come on, threat, Lord. Yeah, 
Wow, both players are just flooding to death here. I have a planeswalker, he's a pseudo planeswalker. We're gonna get this thing to ultimate. Three of this version. I mean, that's cool. I mean, I'm just, it, I, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, you know. Wow, he drew another land. Dude! We're just flooding like hell here. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. I, I really don't want to be fetching because this thing's killing me. I just have to hope he doesn't top deck a lightning bolt. I'm going to plus the Kaya one more time. Yeah, <laughs> land go, land go. I'm going to plus Kaya again. And then I can ultimate her. And then he'll take four, I'll gain four. Yeah, well, yeah, it, it's moderately true. I mean, Ragavan's a tough one to hit because it has dash. Um, okay, I mean, what is going on? It looks like he just drew another land. This is insane. So I'm going to ultimate Kaya here. Wow. <laughs> wow, guys. Wow, let's get this animation going, you know? I mean, good lord, what the fuck, man? Yeah, I, I just got a minus Kaya here. Deal for him, I gain four. Wow. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Neither one of us has cast a card since turn three, and it's turn seven. Here he goes. Oh, boy. Now I got to deal with that, and, uh, I mean, he's going to enjoy this. Where's a threat? How about a Siege Rhino? I mean, just even a Siege Rhino. I mean, God, why did it have to be a Liliana? All right, I mean, it's a threat. We go for it. A mighty one, two. At least the, at least this Clothus is not burning me anymore. I, I've actually gotten this thing into, like, just a bizarre situation where the Clothus is, is just eating lands. Wow, he drew another land. Holy crap. Yeah, man, where is Lingering Souls? Where is that card? Yeah, a mighty goif down. Scavenging ooze? I mean, yeah, we just keep playing it. I will eat the Tarmogoyf in my own land. We'll play this land, and I will play an ooze. There we go. This is maybe this is kind of a bad play. No, it's got to be the right play because he has to minus the lily, which lets him then eat something. Oh damn it! I clicked OK too fast. I was going to eat that with fuck. That was really bad. I should have eaten that. Oh, that's just another different one. I do have Prismatic Ending in the deck. Just letting you guys know, it does exist. There are three Prismatic Endings, which can take care of Clothis or Liliana here. That does me no good. Destroy target creature. All right, well, Lily only gets to play. And I'm going to be in a lot of trouble here if this Lily ultimates. Look at 
Look at our exile piles. Ten and six off the Kaya and the and the uh, Clothis. Yeah. Yeah. Prismatic ending. Thank the Lord. I got to use it on... I have to use it on the Liliana. Even though this is starting to become... Oh, he bolted. He bolted the Kaya. I see. But yeah, it, it's got to be on the Liliana. I have to get rid of these two out of my own. This is painful. <sighs> Man. Oh, we would have won by now if I had Rhino the entire time. I'm just going to click. I mean, I might as well get these out too. <laughs> just so the Clothis can't gain mana. I don't know if that was right or not. Now, it's not an instant cast. This must be more lands he's drawing or something. There we go. That's some good shit right there. No targets. Here we go! Siege Rhino! <laughs> yeah, buddy! Alright, do they got the Terminate? There it is. Buying me time, though. Buying me time against this Clothis. Takes the Siege Rhino. Look at this. I'm going to fetch here, go down to 12, and swing for two. Swing for two, Goyf! Yes! All right. Eat that. This is insane! This is one of the most insane games I've ever played, I think. I'm down to 34 cards in my deck. Like, I just gotta get one more, one more plus and then a minus five on Kaya and I can gain, like, nine life and deal nine to him. Don't you dare Blood Raider bolt me. Alright, a Kaya's Guile. Very nice. Gain four life. Um, so yeah, gain, I, I can entwine this thing, too. So, Entwine, Exile Opponent's Graveyard, Scraped a 1-1 one, one White and Black Spirit, you gain 4 life. That kind of sucks, though. I don't know if I want to put that much in there. Definitely want to gain 4 life and create a 1-1. One, one. Let's attack. Alright, let's go... Hold in case he plays Lily. Yeah, I suppose. I guess I shouldn't have swung then. This really confused the opponent here. And then here we go. This is a big one here. Can I keep this at... Can I ultimate this again? All right, they're getting so desperate now that they're actually fetching again. It took three damage there. Funny enough, I don't have my basic planes. Just in case they, some, for some reason, blood moon me. Mm. 
No. Uh... Exile. Each opponent sacrifice a creature, you gain four life. Yeah, we're going to do everything here. They don't have a creature to sacrifice, but whatever. This is absurd. Okay. I'm eat definitely eating that. Okay. Puts me in a weird bind, actually. Because it's like... I need an ultimate. Yeah, this is game. This is ultimate here. He'll take 12... Check that out. We're going to win with the Kaya ultimate. Here we go. Minus five. It's going to take 12 damage. Yeah! What the fuck is that? Oh my god! <laughs> yes! That was awesome. What a grueling battle. That was some insane shit. I got completely destroyed game one, but then games two and game two I destroyed him. I just too many goys and rhinos. Game three, what a grind. These matches take forever. That was a half hour long match. Man. Is that nuts or what? Both me and the opponent must have top decked like five lands in a row each. Weirdest game you've seen in an effing long time? Yeah, it's been a while. Now it's crazy. It don't get much crazier than that. All right, well, you have a good sleep now. Hope you get some good rest there, JP. Um... Thanks for showing up. Thanks for the subscription today. I really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, hope to see you uh, sometime soon again. And I'll definitely take a look at that list you sent me. I plan on playing Ponza again next week. I know it's been a little while since I've played Ponza, but I plan on playing Ponza again next week. So everybody hear that. I hope you get hyped for that. Next week, playing Ponza next week. I, like I said, I know it's been a little bit, but I promise people I play try to play the other decks I enjoy playing a little bit this year. But I have a feeling that Pons is going to overwhelm the other decks at some point. Someone's just going to be like, ah, I like Pons so much, so I'm just going to play it. All right. All right, yes, I had to go first. Yeah, it looks good. It's a quality hand here. We start with... Uh, yeah, you too, JP. Thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks for the sub. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I think we start here with a godless shrine. Thought sees him, obviously. And then next turn, we'll try to play Stoneforge. Oh, boy. What do we have here? Quest and Beast has been good. It has not been bad. It has not failed me. But I, I don't know if it's better than a second Chandra or not. But I do love me some Questing Beast. I think I kind of want to take Lightning Bolt here. That way I can play the Stone Forge. And be able to just curve into uh, Cauldre Complete. Uh, so I'll take Lightning Bolt. Probably really confuse the opponent of all cards I would take is Bolt. Uh, Archmage Charm, of course, is the most powerful card. Running two Chandras right now. Yeah, that's what a lot of people are doing. All right, have a good night, JP. Thank you so much for the sub and viewing today. All right, we 
always go for the call to complete. The death touch will not work. Oh, they got to draw another bolt. I'll oh, consider. Okay. Yeah, the death touch will not work off the ice thing because this has first strike, right? Yeah, it's first strike. Yeah, opponent's clearly looking at his hand, wondering how he's going to get through this. It's a living weapon. That's a 5-5 with first strike trample indestructible. And that good shit where it exiles a creature. It's a quality ass artifact. <laughs> There's the ice thing. So we're gonna have to deal with this Archmage charm coming. One mana value, one or one less. So they're going to use... Yeah, they're going to use Dark Mage Charm to get gain control of this. I, I believe that will work for them, right? Like, they'll get to keep the artifact as well? Just not really sure. We'll swing with both. Man, I just don't know how this works. I guess I can look to see how it works, right? Like... Do they get to keep the artifact on it? Uh, that's fine. I can fatal push, and the the, to the artifact I know will come back to me. Okay, they do, but they won't be able to block this. So that's fine. They go to one. I mean, they go to nine. They take one. And hope the god they don't have a force of negation or something. I guess the play safe will thought seize first. Another Archmage Charm. They also have Buseju. Um, I think I like taking the Archmage Charm here. And pushing, pushing the uh, germ. Why didn't that work? Oh, that's why. It's indestructible because I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. That was bad. I forgot my own creature is indestructible because I'm really bad. It's not a batter skull. It's a fucking call to complete. So I probably will lose here now. Because I have no way of removing this. I guess Prismatic Ending is my only way out. They're not going to swing here. Alright, never mind. They are. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're going to do Fury. Next turn. Time for a drink? I'm always thirsty. Going down to six. Play a four or five Goyf. At five, I mean, it's gonna be close. I'll drink some of this peach monster. Check that out. It's peachy keen monster. Oh wait, oh it does have double red, yeah. Go to one. Doesn't make any sense to block here. All right. It's siege rhino time. They're at two, I'm at four. Now I win. Yep. All right, so that fatal push would have done nothing. Even that misplay, the fatal push would have done nothing because he never put anything for me to push. Um, okay, uh, collector brutality should be good. Uh, did he have white mana? I don't know. I think this is just a good card in general to bring in against him. Um, funny enough, I've not drawn one Lingering Souls yet in four games, and I have three copies. Uh, I think we can take out Dams here. Well, even though he's got Fury, doesn't he? Yeah, and the Turok probably isn't too good against Fury, so maybe the Dams need to stay in. Fuck. Probably take out Scavenging Ooze. Hmm. Yeah, that's the only way I can take out the Fury, is with Dam. Yeah, let's go with that. I like it. To go for a overgrown tomb here with windswept heath. Any, give me any opening hand with a, a discard spell and a tarmogoyf, and I'm ready to roll. What you got? Like the same exact hand he had before. Probably just gotta take Archmage Charm, right? The Ice Fang's kind of annoying, but I think we can deal with it. More lands. Um, let's 
See if he wants to Aether Gust this Karma Boyf. I doubt it. He's probably just going to, uh... Get his snow-covered, like, forest or something here. For the Ice Fang. Not a lot I can do about that. Let's trade here. Or not. Never mind. What's up, Peace South? How you doing, man? Hope you're doing good. Doing all right. I'm 1 0, by the way. I forgot to update my record. I'm 1 0. 1 0. I guess Temple Garden. Elden Ring down low. There you go. Yeah, I, I, you know, I've never played any of those Soulsborne games. Not one. But I really regret never playing them. I actually own Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 on Xbox One. On a, My wife got me for Christmas. Got me the bundle or whatever they call it. And uh, I've never, uh, never played them. And she got them for me years ago. I just don't play video games. I'm just not really into video games. You know? Funny, he's still not playing Ice Fang. Weird. I wonder why that is. Yeah, I, I'd like to play it too, but I'm one of those guys that needs to... Uh, that needs to uh, play him in order. And I, I can never play Demon Souls. I have a PlayStation 4, but Demon Souls is only on PS1. Uh... I guess put that on bottom since I already got one here. So bottom. And then Siege Rhino time. There we go. But yeah, all these games look really good. Like I love challenging games. Um, so I'm always excited for... Um, a round one was Boomer Jun, and it you know if you watch me on on YouTube, you need to check that match out. Game one, I got completely destroyed. I got absolutely annihilated. Game two, I annihilated him with Tarmac Boys and Siege Rhinos. Game three, we both flooded to the maximum, and it was Clothis versus Kaya Orzov Usurper, and Kaya won the battle. It was insane, absolutely insane. All right, let's let's swing on in here. You know, put it on top. It's a good card. Here's another goy for you. Ice Fing does not have Death Touch right now. He needs one more snow permanent. Gonna get it there. Try to push this ice fang. Okay. First things first, swing Goyf at opponent. That's right, it was Jund. You have another ice thing? It looks like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Siege Rhino again. Gotta have an answer with the Rhino. 
Every time I cast Siege Rhino and it hits the field, it's so good. I mean, it's just now they got to figure out how to get around this 4 or 5, which they certainly can. I mean, there's lots of cards that get out of Siege Rhino. But, you know, a Lightning Helix on a 4 or 5 Trampler is so good. Do we have any Ephemerates? No. Siege Rhino is my only card that does that. I guess Stoneforge Mystic's another one, but no. Uh, I do not run Ephemerate in this deck. I would if I was running, like, Solitudes and Griefs, but, you know, I, I don't want to be running that kind of stuff. It's just too big of mana. What in the hell is this? A Fury? Four damage? You got it. That's not going to work unless he's got a... Uh, Unless he's got a, uh, you know, force negation here. All right, there we go. Um, so, yeah, he never ran any white cards, so I'm glad that I don't have Turok in. Uh, the only other card I could bring in is, like, Vindicate. And that would be to take out his, you know, I'd have to probably take out the Kaya's Guiles. Because there's really not, I haven't seen much stuff that made Kaya Guile good, except for the sacrificing of the creature. Thank you kindly. Peace out. Um, I would probably, yeah, take these out for the Vindicate. Just to try and take care of Planeswalkers and bigger creatures. But maybe that's wrong. Maybe I still want the Kaya's Guile. I, I think I still want the Kaya's Guile. Scavenging Ooze doesn't need to come in. Endurance doesn't seem to matter. Yeah, I'll just run the same list. It's funny, I hardly sighed against this guy. I just brought in two Collector Brutalities. Which I think are good. Uh, this is an ass hand here. Uh, and those are those two collector brutalities right there. Like we're here for you, bro. Yes. Quality. Um. Ultra Monster, it's the uh, Peachy King. It's the one where it's supposed to be about hippies and stuff. Uh, you know, it's really funny. I don't know why they think, you know, hippies in the 60s loved... Uh, it's got good art on it, uh, uh, Peach. I don't know if that was a popular flavor back then or not. Probably not. Um, okay. I'm torn between putting Siege Rhino and Kai's Guile. I like keeping threats against the title of deck I'm up against. So I think I'm going to put Kai's Guile on the bottom. And just try to win here through threats. Now I always have to go for Overgrown Tomb here. And Inquisition. Wow, that's a lot of Inquisitions. A lot of discard spells, I mean. And like I said, Overgrown Tomb. What you got? What you got? Hey, I think I like taking this Renin 6. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Next turn, I almost kind of wonder if I should double discard spell him. You know, take... take Jace with the Thought Seize and probably take Snapcaster Mage with the Inquisition. Okay. Um, let's tear apart this guy's hand. Okay, that makes things a little bit interesting. I don't ever know if that's the right call or not to do something like that because it's like, uh, I guess I'll take that other Renin 6. Um, because it's like, like if he would have done that, I probably took Snapcaster and then he would have top decked the Renin 6 and played it. I'd be like, oh my god, what the fuck? You know, all mad. But instead he exposed the top card, which I had no way to get into. Do Godless Shrine here. I'm going to take some damage. Uh, I'm going to take that Jace, the Mind Sculptor. Um, just that, that card is by far the most powerful card in his hand, so we'll take that. Even though I'm not a fan of leaving him with a Snapcaster Mage, but it is what it is. Yep. 
I guess we'll take the snap too. Wow. Again, he's doing this strategy. A time warp? Uh, yeah, we... God, Jesus, the Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, I gotta take the Snap. It's just too much value. Too much value there. Pick old Snappy. Cast a 5-6. I've done a lot of damage to myself. Oh, God. He's got the time warp ready. Okay. Swing for 5. So this is going to be probably, he sacrifices a creature. No. Yeah. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to click on it. He's still got time warp. But you'll be able to cast. He's got the Besaju in hand. Yeah, he's holding on to it. What the hell is that? So I'll make him exile this uh, sacrifice ice fang, make a one one. Gross. Yeah, he's definitely trying to protect that Jace. Um, yeah, sacrifice a creature, create a 1-1. One, one. I think that's right. More threats. Come on, land. Yes. Okay, you at Jace, you at player. Hefty Siege Rhino coming in. I hope. Yes! Oh my god, Scott Hall just died. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but Scott Hall was my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time is Razor Ramon. Um, really sad to see him pass away. That's, that's really upsetting. You know, I'm not going to cry tears, but, you know, that's really sad. He's got time warp. And he's going to take an extra turn. That's fine. For now. Did he find a way out? He has no white mana, so there can't be a damnation here. Or not a damnation. Uh, um, Supreme Verdict or Wrath of God. This is probably a Fury. Yeah, Fury can only do four damage here, really. Yeah. All right. Oh, they're finally get a finally get a Lingering Souls. This is like what game six is my first Lingering Souls. All right, swing in. It's 
Siege Round is going to do one trample. That's six damage to the opponent. Come on, resolve. Yes! Okay. I do not like the new spirit tokens, by the way. I like the new ones they had from Innistrad, Crimson Vow, and Midnight Hunt. I thought those were cool. It's another different fury. Looks like it. Oh, yeah. Taking out the spirits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How about a dam? Take out this fury with dam. No, basic planes. Uh... Yeah, I thought they were going to trade with Goyf too, but it looks like right now they made a decent decision. So we'll trade here again. Alright. This is where it gets tough, folks. Trying to get these last two points of damage. Don't tell me this is another... What the fuck? This is three straight Furies in a row. Look at this. Three in a row. What the hell? <laughs> Where's Siege Rhino? Give me another Siege Rhino. Bro, no. No, bro, no. And we play it. I think we lost. That's unbelievable. He managed to top deck that many in a row. That's unreal. He's probably got like an Archmage charm now. Is it Jace? Oh my god. Wow. Unbelievable. Three Furies in a row lead to victory for the opponent. That's insane. That's absolutely insane that he got there. Wow. This guy was 3-0, and so he goes to 4-0. and My deck almost got him. Almost got there. Three straight Furies. Yeah, another Lingering. So I wonder if maybe I shouldn't have swung and traded with the Fury. I mean, there's no way I could... There's no way I could have predicted he had three in a row. There's just not possible. Like, one or two, okay, but three in a row? What? All right, guys, I got to go check on my dogs. I'll be back in just a second. rough loss there but I fought as good as I could I mean I just need that top deck two lands there in a row at the end I think I did I think it was Plains Blooming Marsh I mean that didn't help I mean really it could have been damn could have been Kaya's Guile um would have got me out of that you know hopefully if they didn't have counter magic Yes, I had to go first. Uh, I'm, I'm going to mull this. Five lands.
against this too many, and yeah, this is better. Tough to figure out what to put on the bottom here. It's either Siege Rhino or Inquisition, the second Inquisition. I do like keeping threats, but that's long distance threats. Technically, I have another threat here. I'm going to put Rhino on the bottom. Is that wrong? Is that right? I don't know. But I know what's going to be right here is turn one Inquisition of Kozilek targeting opponent. Oh, boy. Well, looks like uh, we're going to take the Fatal Push and then... Uh, Hopefully have his croaks to discard my lingering souls, right? Oh, fuck. What the hell? Oh. That's a good draw. <laughs> How about that? That's a quality draw there. Um, so yeah, I need to get Temple Garden here. For a single white. Exile. Take a look at that hand again. Uh, I think I like taking Turok here. Hope I can draw another land. Because I want him to make me discard my Lingering Souls. I'm going to take the Turok. You know. He's probably confused why I let him keep the Kroxa. But here's why, bud. There you go. Thanks. How about another land to eat? Devour. Consume. No, but a 4-5 Goyf right now looks pretty decent, considering he's just got, as far as I know, lands in hand. But I would like to be able... Maybe... You know what? I should have probably put Goyf... Uh, scavenging Ooze in. I just want to make sure I can eat that Kroxa. I can fiddle push the Kroxa now. Uh, yeah, swing for four. And then we'll, we'll throw Ooze in and hope it lives. We know one card hands a land. And he can't escape Kroxa yet. He still can't get Kroxa out. Important to note there. He needs a fetch land here. Wow. Well, I played that all completely wrong, I guess. Wow. Well, we need to keep the Hex Drinker in hand, swing here for four, and make uh, some tokens. That's unbelievable. I can't find any lands here. I do have multiple ways. Well, I kind of do. Fatal Push, Prismatic Ending to get rid of this Kroxa, but damn won't work because I only got one black. Um, I'm hoping these Spirit Tokens can just fly on over. Nice, Goy stays a 4-5. Alright. What it's all about. Play it because, you know, it's going to get discarded anyways, and it could find damn with this. I mean, he's got to worry about his clock, too. If he swings here and I take it all, he doesn't have anything else to play. I mean, I'll go down to six, but he'll... Man, he'll live by one. And he's got Den the Bugbear now. 
Another close ass game. No blocks. <sighs> Why does the deck do this to me? Yeah, he lives by one. Unbelievable. So Goyf can block. I can send one spirit token. Put him at six. Yeah, my plan here is I'm going to see if I can't get him to commit to Den of the Bugbear. Man, I can't believe the deck is just... I need a Siege Rhino again. If I can get a Siege Rhino here, we might be okay. Come on, deck. Hex Drinker, that's got to stay in hand. Yeah, I think I just lost now. Because I can block, block, go to one. Alright, well Hex Drinker lets me live a little bit longer. Block, block, take one. I guess I should have attacked with Goyf all that time ago. Oh. Wow. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. Man, my deck just didn't do anything again for a while. All right. Uh, again, I mean, it's just so difficult trying to figure out what to do here. Uh, I think we want endurance. Um, endurance, take out the hex drinkers. Maybe take out a couple of these thought seizes, bring in some collector brutalities. Try something like that. So this is Rakdos. As far as I can tell. Well he has Turok, so it might be Mardu. Yeah, Liliana's back in full force, manure but people forgot how good this card is. And they're just like, oh shit, I had no idea. Man, what was the last thing I played against? Like a teamer control? Uh, no, Mulligan. Keep. Put Kai's Guile on bottom? Where's Lingering Souls? Probably Lingering Souls. Yeah, people are just realizing how good Lily on the Veil is. I mean, straight up. They're just like, oh, I didn't realize it was this good. How about that, you know? There goes Stoneforge. They could take Fatal Push instead of Stone Forge. That would tell me they have a lot of removal. Um, they take Stone Forge.
Kroxa here. Wow. All right. They're doing me what I did to that uh, teamer player. Probably got to take Kai's guy, all right? I don't know. These are all good against Croaks. So. <laughs> all right, well. They fell victim to the curse there. I top decked another fatal push. He's going to be mad about this. He is not going to be a happy camper about this. I guess I could have Kaya's guy out there, but nah. Okay. Probably a fail push here. No, it didn't happen. All right. A lot more mid range decks. I've since Lyra's been banned. Not, none of this super aggro grindy decks they were doing. Is it Turok? Oh, it's a Douthy. And a Terminate. Okay. Uh, what to do here? Could damn it. Could prismatic ending it. I think we hit him with a prismatic ending because he doesn't know that I have this damn. Just gotta look out for this Ragavan. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> what I say, damn it? What I say? All right. They took a Blooming Marsh, which I kind of actually need in case I top deck Siege Rhino. Oh, there's Goif. Uh, yeah, I'll play Goif. Seems good. See they have more fatal pushes or something. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Fuck. I, I can still kill it with God, they're just top decking so well compared to me. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Well, there's no point in collector brutality in here. We know what they got. Just the big fear here is they get a Croaks. Uh... Yeah, just hold back on blocking duty. No, don't tell me. Okay, it's terminate. Well, I mean, I, I, I mean, they're just top decking so much better than me. I mean, you can see I have three lands, look how much mana they have. Now they're drawing constant threats. I can't find any way to deal with any of the things they have. Um, I'm sure the Ragavan will take a land again. Um, yeah, it took a land. I mean, I'm just in so much trouble here. I mean, worst comes to worst, I can 
drain for two. Can't overload my dam. Yeah, I don't think I can beat this guy now. I, I, I'd need too much help. Akaya's Guile would be amazing. Akaya's Guile would be where it's all at here. But as of right now, I'm dead. I'm dead as can possibly be. Is that enough? Seven. Yeah, it's exactly game. Okay, I guess I should have. I didn't count that right. Okay, I just got my ass beat there. Slit my own throat. Just give me the knife so I can cut up this delicious French bread. I wish I had some French bread, but I don't have any. My wife, it is Monday, so the wife is making me our Monday special, which is uh, tortellini Alfredo. So at least I get to look forward to that. I guess that was Rakdos. The thing was telling me it was Mardu, but I didn't see any white mana. Um, God. Just really struggling with mana with this deck. Um, I mean, I've got 23 lands in. I can't find lands. That's two games in a row that I could not find lands. Uh, opponents just running extremely hot, uh, finding everything they need. You know, if I was psychic, there's no way in hell I would have played um, Tarmogoyf there. But then I was such bad shape against the Ragavan. I guess the idea there I should have been is, you know, have have um, the Kaius Guile up to sacrifice, make him sacrifice Ragavan anyways, and get rid of the graveyard. But I just didn't expect them to have what they had, and a Turok kicked, you know. Just I get super unlucky with shit like that, you know. I mean, look, look at how bad that was. The opponent never missed a beat, and I was, I was just... I mean, look at the deck you're looking at right now. How many cards have you seen me play effectively? We haven't seen Hex Drinker do anything. Lingering Souls has struggled to show up today, despite being three copies. Uh, Stoneforge Mystic has struggled again, despite being three copies. Uh, really, the only MVPs so far today have been the one drop black cards Tarmogoyf, Siege Rhino, and Kaya. And Bucket Man? Sounds like a rejected, like, early 90s, like, Sega Genesis game. Uh, yeah, again, like I said, anytime, anytime um, I see a discard and goif, and plus it's a nice curve. One, two, three. Hell yeah, let's go. It's funny never seeing the companion anymore. Now that Luris is gone, it's just so rare to see a companion. Uh, yeah, Overgrown Tomb looks good here. Unmoored Ego? Wow. Kaya's Guile. So this is this damn... Just card your search target opponent, square your hand library for a card. Exile draws a card each. Exile from hand this way. Um, I think I like Kaya's Guile. Taking that. This could be obnoxious too. Hexproof from Monocolored. So I have no way of killing this. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I don't have Terminate. Yeah, maybe I need to get rid of that. <sighs> Neon Mort Ego is like whatever. Hmm, tough. It's one of these zoo decks or something. Yeah, I'll take the general. I mean, fuck it. Let's go with that.
Right, so that's why I took him. I was just looking at him, just like, I, I have no car in the deck that can beat him, you know. Um, this is interesting, you know, the unmoored ego against me here. Because if I play the Stoneforge Mystic, they can just unmoored ego it, whatever I grab. Um, is that worth the risk? They can also Kaius Guile. Uh, I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to play Stoneforge. Make him, make him uh, exile a card from my hand just so I can draw a card. They can always Kaius Guile it too. The main phase Kaz Guile? Wow. Um, yeah, we play Concealed Courtyard here. I think I just want to play Lingering Souls, and then next turn I can do double Goyf. So let's do that. You know, I'm getting dangerously close to losing to this Bring Delight. I need, like, Thought Seize here. Honestly, I gotta bring a Collective Brutality from the side. I don't have Fulminator Mage, so I can't destroy one of these lands. Maybe that, I can bring in Vindicate. Yeah, I can bring Vindicate in too. So I'd assume here he wants to get with the Bring to Light. You know. About anything we'll do, right? Unmoored Ego, let's see what he names. He names Tarmogoy. He might name Calder Complete because he knows it's in my hand, but that guarantees me just a, a free draw. Calder Complete, so he is going to do it. Okay. That's an interesting one. It just makes me draw a card. I mean, I wasn't going to be able to cast this probably the whole game, so I'll take it. I'll draw a card. And then they're going to bring to light the next turn. Prismatic ending. That's not half bad. All right, double goif. Two goifs. Opponent compliments on the Siege Rhinos. <laughs> I haven't even played one. We got to look at my deck with the Unmoored Ego. And uh, says he likes them. What? All right, here we go. Here comes the Bring to Light. And it's probably a Niv Mizzet. He still has not played this Temple Garden. Funny enough, I can kill Niv Mizzet with uh, with Dam. Uh, so yeah, I mean, he put, t 
Teratoa, Kavu, Lightning Helix, Bring Delight. So that's his hand there. Don't think I can beat that one, guys. I don't run Lily, but you are correct. We, we do need to try and get Dam off here. Whoa, 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 that's not what I want. I want to draw. Another different Goyf. Let me just play another Bring to Light. It's over, you know. Yeah, Guy would work too. I mean, I can't really cast the Stone Forge into the known Lightning Helix. All right, peace out. Thanks for showing up, man. Really appreciate it. Hope to see you here tomorrow. Again, at 4 p.m. Pacific time, will be more Abzan this entire week. And I will actually be here on Friday, but I will not be here Wednesday. I plan on playing on Fridays now because there are no local tournaments for me to go to on Fridays anymore. But thanks for stopping by, man. I can prismatic in that. Lightning Helix and back up to six. Wow. Why well, as we play this? And I have three mana. I, I want to kill. Get rid of that Kavu. Knock him down to three, but he's really got three more life than he says. So he's got the Lightning Helix. I think I'm pretty happy here with killing the Teferi, making more tokens. Teferi player. And then Lingering Souls. I mean, he's basically at seven. Full grip, almost. Got six cards in hand. Half of them we know. If he brings the light, you know, that's really bad. Lightning Helix is probably pretty brutal. But it looks like he's going for the old bring the light here. He knows it's pretty tough for me to get through two Niv Mizzets. Or something even worse. Oh, an Omnath. That's pretty rough on me, too. We know he's got a Temple Garden. Yeah, even better. Hmm. 
Hoodie Helix. Oh, my Goyf? Interesting. Oh, the old double Helix. <laughs> That's legit. So I can do both Mystic and Goyf this turn. So Stoneforge. Get the Batter Skull. And then Tarmogoyf. Can't send any of the Spirit Tokens. This is rough. Yep. Yep. I go to two, so I can gain life off the Kaya. I think I will. Go to two. Of course, you could have a, a Lightning Helix. Fatal Push. Now that's a good draw. Uh, okay, so I have six mana. Uh, I really need seven. So we push. This is disturbing. Push the Kavu. Right? We don't need to do that yet. Play a 5-6 Goyf, that has to happen. And then I can play Kaya and get rid of some of their cards. General and Lightning Helix. All right. Got to find a creative way to get rid of this uh, Niv Mizzet. Swings with everything. Okay, we let that resolve. We go to blocks. I guess we block here as well. Before damage. Oh, fuck the Teferi. The Teferi. Oh, my God, the Teferi. Son of a fucking bitch. Just lost the game. Maybe. I can still play the Batter Skull from hand. 
but it's not easy. What? Do I have another Niv Mizzet? Another Bring the Light? Well. Yeah. Puts the Fairy. Kaya's Guile and Bring the Light. <sighs> Burden Catacomb, so I just died. I can't survive now. That sucks. God damn it. Yep, nothing I can do there. Alright, Collector Brutality and Vindicate need to come in. Probably Turok as well. That's not a bad not a bad call there. Um Scavenging use looks bad. The Turok I want to bring in to try and make him discard the cards he gets off the Bring Delight if possible. Um, Lingering Souls looks good. Hex Drinker looks a little bit suspicious, maybe. Probably can take out some of these Fatal Pushes. If he's trying to win the game off the uh, Nip Mizzet. Been a while since I played against this deck. It wouldn't have mattered, anyways. If I if I would have remembered that Teferi was on the field. It's been a while since I've seen Teferi be pretty dominant in a situation like that. To be honest with you. I mean, this deck is doing well, I feel, for what it is. I mean, it's tough, but, you know, it's, it's rewarding, it feels like. Because it's like, I know I'm the underdog. And, um... I'm forcing p people deep into games and stuff. Um, man, I'd really like an Inquisition or something. If this was an Inquisition instead, I'd be all about it. I th think we can keep it, though. Go for the Overgrown Tomb here. The Vindicate should be good on the Triomes. Or that. Overgrown Tomb. Blooming Marsh. <laughs> Mighty one, two, goif. Hopefully I can nail that uh, thing with Vindicate. Oh my god, that'd be a huge win. Take out two lands at once, basically. Just gotta wonder here if he's gonna play a turn two to Fairy. He'd have to have a white source here if it was going to be turn two to fairy. Yep. Yep, looks like turn two to fairy. Yep. God, I'm so good at predicting this shit. It's just absolutely disgusting how good I've gotten at this.
yeah. We go for it here. I could also prismatic end this. You know, a better play, actually, now that I'm looking at it, might be Prismatic and the Sprawl, and then play Goyf. I would like to try and save, like, maybe Vindicate for, you know, something a little bigger, maybe. Like, a Triumph would be the ultimate prize, I feel. The way the opponent's deck plays. Looks like it may have mana screwed him somehow. No, there we go. Okay, we'll Vindicate that. Okay, swing in, hit the Teferi. Then we'll Vindicate, Temple Garden. Oh, I shouldn't have put six. Damn it, that was stupid. Good matter. Get a clock going. Bunch of spirit tokens. Sure. Swing hard here. Funny enough, this Kai's guy will be lethal. Because I can make another 1-1. One, one. Alright, there we go. Okay. I'm glad I saw that play there. The Prismatic and the uh, the Utopia Sprawl. Uh, I like everything here. The Vindicate looked really strong. Collective Brutality should be decent. Um, as long as their hand isn't just all Sprawls and Planeswalkers. Yeah, let's go with it. No threats. It's a bit of a problem. I, I need to try and find a threat, I feel. Boy, that is a long-term threat, but it's a threat. We'll keep... Put the planes on the bottom. Probably gotta take the collective brutality here. I think they may, yeah, they take the brutality. It's the only card I can play in relative time till now. Lightning Helix. All right, the race is on. What? Terrible draw.
Uh, Gaba Shrine. He must have top decked uh, Bring to Light. Oh. This is intense. Just how long can he go till he finds Niv Mizzet or Bring the Light? Looks like now. Oh, I can't even deal with that card. Alright, this thing has hexproof from it because it's black. I, I really can't even deal with this card. What are these? White, yeah, I can't even block it. Uh, yeah, can't do it. Man, if he had a big spell, he would play it. So I, I don't think this is the right play here. I don't. I think what we need to do is we need to fly over. Attack to fairy, attack to fairy. Exile to fairy. Cast with flashback. So I want to have the I want to have the uh, brutality there. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, we may get into a bizarre racing situation here. Damn. Uh. Damn can kill this, I guess. I think we just fly over. Knock him to eight. I think this might be a weird situation where we brutality. I mean, oh, Lord. He can do seven. Really need to find another land here for um we have to 14. I I still can't. I need to try and see if I can't get extra value out of this stuff. I take a big risk here. Okay, there's Siege Rhino. I'm taking a 
massive, massive risk here. All right, let's see if he's got a removal spell. So, he can block one, All right, guys, this is it. This is Siege Rhino for game here. Come on, buddy, resolve. Yes! Siege Rhino gets in there. All right. Woo! Guys, I'm telling you, this card is still so good. It, it's tough to cast. I mean, it requires three different colors. But, man... Whew. All right, let's see if I can't finish this this league fast. Wow. Lingering Souls, massive there. It almost let me come back in game one, Lingering Souls. Hexdrinker continues to be the weakest card in the deck um, overall. But, you know, really, what do I replace it with? Some people say, well, replace it with a couple copies of um, Esper Sentinel. Well, Esper Sentinel's so bad sometimes, and it, it can never be a threat in this deck. Never. Uh, I mean, unless I put Batter Skull on it or something, you know, which is unlikely. Um, but, yeah, I, I think... Uh, you know, I, I just like it because, you know, when the game goes really late, like this deck likes to do. It likes to go long. It likes to grind opponents. And, you know, if you top deck a Hex Drinker and they're, they're empty-handed and you've got like nine mana, it's going to be a 6-6 six, six with protection from everything. And at that point, the only things that can kill it are cards like Liliana the Veil, uh, Kaya's Guile, you know... What was it, Lilian? There was another Liliana card that did it too. Uh, if I had one more land, I'd keep, but I have to mull here. And I can keep here, putting back. Overgrown Tomb? Yeah, Basic Swamp. Put back the Basic Swamp, right? Yeah. Opponent also mulligans to six. Uh oh. What is that? <laughs> There's the Swamp. Right on. I, I do run two Swamps in this, so... That's going to get prismatic ended. No questions asked there. Like, that's that's some great value right here. I'm talking about Walmart great value right now. Uh, yeah, Temple Garden should be fine. Mm. 
more sweet land action. Uh, let's get, I'm going to go with the uh, Godly Shrine here. There we go. Gotta love taking those, uh, <laughs> those trades like that. Like, sure, I'll exile your, your guy. Man, I need green now. I need green now. Um, I need green. I have one basic forest. I can still function for the most part because I have my planes. Thank the Lord. Okay, things just got a little tougher. I still have another basic swamp. Maybe I don't want to expose my basics just about right now. Yeah, Blood Braid. Oh, Chandra. Yeah, I mean, what, what can I do? I'm stuck. This deck's becoming popular too, all these mid-range style. Yeah, I just need, I just need green. I need a lot more than that now. Well. Clothis, the game's over. I can't deal with that. Yeah, it is absolutely destroyed. enough all right man it looked okay there for a little bit but uh okay um probably need to have like vindicate and endurance yeah, vindicate endurance Kaya's Gal, Kaya's Orzhov Usurper is really good. Man, these are really tough decisions. Dam is super good if I can overload it, which is tough. Hmm. And then I want Fatal Push as well. I think we might have to sacrifice a fatal push here. So I brought in the Vindicate and what was it? Endurance. Yeah, those should be okay. Um, probably not good enough. Maybe good enough. Put Batter Skull on bottom. Wow, look at that shit. Um, well, it doesn't make any sense taking a Blood Moon. I, I think I like taking Pillage of all things. I could take the Seasoned Pyro, too. But I, I think I like taking Pillage. Hopefully I can find a source of black. Because <laughs> this Blood Moon's coming. Okay. Let's get the calder complete. So Blood Moon's coming next turn. Okay, sweet. I got my uh, I 
got it there. All right, swing for five. And then as soon as I cast that Blood Moon, it's fetching for basic Swamp. Oh, it's just a Blood Braid Elf. And a Clothis. I mean, that's pretty good. Revolt Push. Right on. Oh, that's a nice draw, too. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that Clothis. Yeah. I like doing that. Swing for six. Okay. All right, that's enough for the opponent. Um, so yeah, let's just resubmit. Vindicate should be good, even though it's a little bit slow. Uh, it, you know, because I have to do it on turn three. You know, pillage on turn two with with Ponza is just too good. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, uh, I really do like seeing all the people playing Ponza again. Um, I think the deck's still really good. You just gotta know what you're doing. And, uh, you know, having multiple pillages in the deck, in the main deck, I think is the right way to go. I think it's always been the right way to go. Uh, no, cannot keep this. This hand has struggled with opening hands. Yeah, I mean, this gets worse. We're going to five. We're going to keep there and pray to Jesus that this works. Probably Rhino on bottom. Prismatic ending on bottom. Wow, no play there? What the hell? What? How can you not have anything? What? That's interesting. Now, they don't have Simon Spirit Guide anymore, so I don't have to worry about, you know, oh, it's probably a red and six here. I would assume. I can only guess, right? Oh no, it's well, it's still gonna be Ren and Six. No. So the scary thing here is I have to expose. Look at them hearts. Thank you kindly for those hearts. I have to expose my basic ass swamp to them because now they can blood moon and my only chance no no actually i messed up i guess i just die here yeah if they got blood moon i'm just dead there's nothing i can do to stop blood moon I can't play a single card in my deck if they Blood Moon. So I have to go for like Swamp here and hope they don't Blood Moon. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty grim there. Yep, that's what I gotta do.
I wonder if I should just endurance that. No, no. Yeah, man, I really messed up. I should have played Godly Shrine first. You know, and now I have to go for the swamp. I don't, I mean, I need a miracle here. Yeah, I mean, I, maybe maybe I should have gone for the forest. Cause at least then I'd have a threat. I, I just don't think I can win the game. It's just my hand. I had a mold of five, you know. It just well, I mean that's okay. Maybe I can push something. Man, how does Ponza ever lose? You know, I'm looking at the deck and I'm just like, man, this deck is so powerful. You know, like, how did I ever lose with this deck? Yeah, just nothing happening here. I gotta find a basic planes. If I can find basic planes, the game's like brand new, but I don't think I'm gonna live long enough to do that. And he hasn't shown a bolt yet. Probably a fury here. Game's over. I mean, I, I just cannot win now. I don't know how Pond's ever lose. Wow, there's actually a green. Basic green. All right, there we go. Scavenging Ooze. I'm sure he's got answers for Ooze. He's probably got Fury. Or Bolt. Yeah, and the game's over now, because he can, he can uh, just go ape shit with this Ren and Six. Yeah, I needed to play uh, I, you know, Godless Shrine first. That's what needed to happen. I don't know how this, this Ponza deck can lose sometimes. Like, that's why I'm so successful with it. It's just so good. It's so good. Wow, he actually... Oh, he did cast Lightning Bolt. Like, what? <laughs> the Batter Skull might be able to get in there if I can ever find more lands. But this game's over. This game's completely over. Wow, another Lightning Bolt. His top two cards have been Lightning Bolt. What is happening here? Come on, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Kill me. Come on. How can you tap so poorly? There you go. Blood Great Health. What was happening there? Anaclothis. Yeah, I mean, it's just completely over. This deck is extremely powerful. This this Ponza deck. I mean, it is just absolutely gut shot fucking insane. Like, this deck, I think, is the most powerful deck nobody talks about. And that's why I play it a lot. I mean, look at it. I mean, look at this deck. All right, guys. I still can't go better than two and three. I cannot do it. I cannot save my life for it. Very frustrating, but I think, I think Abzan did well today. The weakest link is still Hex, Hex Drinker. It's like I have two cards in the deck that can be anything I want to be. You know, I feel like a solid 58 here, and then I've got these two cards. And if I put Esper Sentinel in, I'm just like, ah, that sucks too. Um, you know, I could try putting in, you know more lingering souls i could bring in you know a grist 
But I do like this kind of like as a pillage where I just swing out. But maybe it's not good enough for that. Because pillage is super strong. This card is strong if you get to invest all the eight mana. So maybe, yeah, maybe I should put a Grist in here. You know, to complement the Kaya, even though I do like having the Hex Drinker as a potential one-drop creature, which, if they kill, can lead into a Tarmogoyf, which is okay. You know, I mean, it's just... I don't know. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. Um, another two and three. Haven't been able to get over that hump. I have not had better than a... I have not had a winning record since February 28th. That was the, exactly two weeks ago. It's the last time I had a league where I went three and two or better. Um, otherwise, I've gone two and three or worse. Uh, mostly twos and threes, but I have had two one and fours, I want to say. Maybe three, I don't know. Uh, no, oh and five. That hasn't happened yet. But uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Let's do some shout-outs here. Uh, shout-outs to Greens89, P-South Play of One, Manure Butt, Burt7770, Snake Eyes MTG, aka JP, the Alpha Gemstone Dragon, and the Nightbot and the MTG Bot for keeping me company. Also, shout outs to uh, Wes Ordo for the follow. Really appreciate that. And also, big shout outs to Snake Eyes MTG slash JP for the resub. Really awesome, man. Nine months. That's three quarters of a year. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, so, guys, we'll be doing some Abzan again tomorrow. I think I'm just going to leave the Hex Drinkers in. I, I just don't feel a reason to take them out. Again, if I put Esper Sentinel in, I'll probably just be signing out the Esper Sentinels like I do with the Hex Drinkers. Uh, the only thing I can think of is bringing even more powerful cards, but that makes things even more difficult. Like, I bring in one Grist and, say, like a Solitude or something, have one Solitude. I'll probably sign out that Solitude a lot, you know. I really like this list. I really think it's strong really wide like a massive shotgun blast it covers a lot of angles it's tough for opponents to deal with a lot of times not saying i can win with this deck consistently but i make it hell for the opponent to win and really that's all like if i can't win at least make it as difficult as possible for the opponent but anyways guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you watched on twitch for this or following if you watched on youtube please consider subscribing give this video a thumbs up you can always follow me on twitter um, so yeah, guys, we'll be back at 4 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow for more Abzan action. Uh, everybody stay safe out there and, uh, eat some good food, drink some good beverages, and spend some time with your sweetheart, okay? All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I will catch you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time, all right? Live. Uh, you guys on YouTube, you'll see it about a day later. Uh, so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. Get hype. And of course, peace!